chapter is very conceptual, uh, which is very different from the rest of the semester. So the rest of the semester will be more hands-on, right? Which means we have to learn uh, certain software skills. That is why we are in this computer lab classroom. Um, but the first class is to give you an overview of uh, accounting information system and how does it uh, connect to, or how does it, um, uh, how, how is it different from other accounting courses? Um, so now uh, I encourage you to think about uh, some daily uh, uh, activities that you perform. Uh, say you go to Starbucks to get a cup of coffee or you uh, go to the cafeteria or you go to any uh, restaurants nearby. So, um, so some of the, uh, uh, so have you like considered some of the questions that uh, the managers at those uh, companies, uh, be it Starbucks or Walmart or other things uh, might ask, right? So for example, um, a manager at Starbucks may, may think about, okay, what is the most popular item um, for the stores within this region? Uh, or does the uh, popular item fluctuate across different seasons, right? So usually uh, when it comes to October, the pumpkin spice is like the very popular item, right? But in the summer, maybe it's different. Um, so this kind of information is very, diff uh, is very important for managers, uh, for them to grow their business because uh, once they know, for example, which item is the most popular based on historical data uh, at certain time or location, then they can be better prepared to, for example, get more inventory for that product, right? To meet the demand of the customer. Um, but they also have to make sure that there's no extra inventory to avoid any waste. Um, so to, uh, like to have these optimal decision-making, uh, the managers actually have to rely on uh, reliable information, right? They have to obtain the relevant data and then um, process the data in a way that uh, the information about uh, the popular item by store and or by season can be uh, can be revealed. Uh, if we think about some more generic considerations that managers might ask, uh, so I guess uh, some of the items that are listed here, uh, you already saw them in your other classes, like your managerial accounting classes or supply chain classes. Uh, so such examples can be like whether a company should outsource part of its uh, operation to some foreign countries. Uh, so for that, you have to obtain information about the revenue and costs of that particular uh, 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 segment, right, of the business. Um, and also, um, if you want to uh, promote certain products over others, and similarly, you also have to get product level revenue information and costs. Uh, to generate profit margin and do this comparison. Um, so all these business decisions or considerations rely on uh, some sort of data or information. And that is um, how BIS plays a role, which I will introduce uh, very soon. And uh, before I uh, like uh, define what is AIS, I want to um, comment that nowadays uh, accountants are becoming more like business analysts. And this is because uh, with the age of big data that we are in, uh, like the companies are generating much more data compared to um, like what's available 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Um, and accountants are in a perfect place to have access to all kinds of company data, uh, including the internal financial information, uh, as well as other non-financial information. So that kind of advantage uh, actually puts accountants in a place where they can, um, they have to analyze these data in a way to support business decision-making. Uh, so that is why um, now whenever you talk to practitioners in the field, uh, they highly agree that, okay, now accountants are becoming more like business analysts. 
And to give you some sad news, um, so according to a report, uh, uh, like the big four accounting firms are actually hiring uh, more or uh, let's say uh, the amount of uh, graduates who come from the uh, IT or system background, uh, actually they're hiring more of these uh, graduates uh, than the people who graduate directly from accounting program. Um, so that is to say, we as accounting students, we have to be uh, prepared for this trend to equip ourselves with more of these analytical skills, right? To stay competitive and relevant in this changing world. Um, so that uh, further emphasizes the uh, importance of uh, getting to know these relevant uh, knowledge, including AIS, including uh, analytics. I believe Rutgers provides a good amount of analytics oriented courses. Uh, so as uh, the semester moves on, I will introduce you to the, those courses uh, so that you are aware that you have an option to expand your knowledge base uh, to stay very competitive in the market. So um, as we mentioned that for accountants and also managers to um, get uh, or to make um, informative or informed business decisions, they need to decide uh, what information to collect and how to utilize that information, right? So for that to happen, we have to have um, an information system that is able to capture the data uh, for accountants and managers to consume. Uh, so this is an information system. Um, so in general, um, there are four uh, core capabilities of an information system. Um, so let's say for Starbucks, right? Let's say if the manager wants to know uh, which store within New York region has the highest uh, revenue, and then um, uh, a system has to uh, collect the raw data for this kind of uh, revenue comparison, right? So the raw data can contain our daily transactions. Uh, for example, if I go to Starbucks um, uh, in New York and then I purchase a cup of coffee, then uh, that transaction will be recorded by some kind of system. Um, so then that's the input function of a system. Right? You have to capture some kind of uh, raw information. And then, uh, so uh, like for the users to use that data later, that means that we have to store that data or information somewhere. Right? So uh, it could be a database, it could be uh, in some other forms. Uh, but that is to say uh, an information system needs to have a capability to store the uh, data or information. Um, and um, for the data to be uh, like relevant to the decision-making, the users have to process the data in a way that it generates useful information, right? For example, um, by looking at the transactions, isn't gonna produce any insights, right? You have to aggregate the transaction to calculate a revenue in a given month or uh, obtaining the cost information in a given month in order to generate uh, uh, brought, uh, the profit, right? So we have to process these data in a way so that we understand the meaning of that data or generate uh, insights from it. And the output of uh, all these are gonna be any results that you get or any reports that you generate, all right? For example, you can say, okay, after doing this exercise of uh, generating revenue costs and finally getting the profit, you know that, okay, for this particular store in this area, this has the highest revenue, right? So that is the final output that you get from this uh, information system. So uh, any information system will have to have these four core functions. And this is the same for our county information system. So a county information system by its name, it is just uh, our county information <laughs> system that provides or that stores accounting information, right? Um, and for accounting information, uh, it includes both financial and non-financial information. So all of this uh, information, right, like uh, 
whether it's financial or non-financial, as long as it contributes to the decision making of uh, accountants or managers or uh, for any business uh, considerations, then uh, this information can be uh, captured by accounting information system, right? So accounting information system is actually a very broad concept uh, that contains many, many uh, subcategories, which we'll talk about uh, later. Okay, so uh, why do we have to study AIS? Um, so the answer is just that um, act, the accounting information system is uh, fundamental to the accounting profession. Um, so later, um, I will introduce different roles of accountants. Um, so I think so far you have already learned about financial um, and general, and maybe some of you are taking auditing or have already taken auditing. Um, so, so for example, let's say for managerial accounting, we are mostly dealing with uh, how managers can uh, make some internal decisions uh, based on uh, information such as costs or uh, other relevant uh, information, right? So for all those uh, accounting subjects that you have learned, the assumption is that the data that supports the generation of those information that uh, can help managers or help uh, with the external reporting process is already in place. And the assumption is that there is a system that can capture the data that can produce those financial reports or that can support managers' uh, internal decision making. So now for the AIS class, we're actually dealing with that, uh, the fundamental or the infrastructure, which is the system that actually captures all these information that uh, is what accounting builds on. Okay, so, so that is why um, AIS is fundamental uh, because it provides information uh, either financial or non-financial that companies rely on to produce both uh, external reporting, which is the financial reporting that uh, financial accounting that you learned and internal uh, decision making, which is the managerial accounting that you have learned. Uh, basically, you are going to learn about, okay, how do we design such a AIS system? How do we implement and, uh, this kind of in, uh, accounting information system? And we're gonna learn how to produce financial reports from the system that you designed. So this is why we are having a dedicated AIS course. And um, what can AIS do, right? So I think after our discussion so far, you already learned that uh, since AIS is the fun, uh, foundation for the other accounting activities, so with um, an effective AIS system, uh, the system can enable accountants and managers to make informed decisions, right, based on the data uh, captured by these systems. So with uh, effective AI system, you can imagine that, okay, now for Starbucks, the managers at Starbucks can figure out uh, who is the star worker, who is the star employee, right? And then uh, give them bonus or figure out what's the best selling product in winter so that they can uh, meet customer's demand, so and so forth. Um, and you can give examples from your uh, like other um, companies that you are familiar with.